Guys, first of all, just, uh, you know, you needed to respond after a tough game last week. How good does it feel to know that you did? Good. Oh, it feels great. It's great. Feel like it's a great team win. Great competition football, offense, defense, special teams. It feels good getting back into the win count. Uh, yeah, also it felt good. Um, we didn't change anything in our uh, approach to it. We just um, did the same thing we always do and uh, played well today as a team. We'll talk about the turnovers in a second, but maybe the biggest play was um, getting that fourth down stop because at that point, we was down a little bit of momentum. Uh, just illustrate the importance of that play because uh, I feel like the game really changed at that point. Um, yeah, that was a huge game changer. Um, at the end of the game, Coach Wilson told us he was like, for that fourth down stop, it changed the game for us. So it helped uh, the defense momentum and it helped the offensive momentum too. So. Yeah, just to piggyback, it was a huge play. Being able to, David and uh, Broom coming up making the big stop, put the offense in great field position. So they ended up punching, so it was a huge, we thought it was a huge momentum shift after that play. Did you guys see the hit that David put uh, yeah, yeah, what, yeah. That, what does that do for you guys? I mean, that's got to, that's just, it's got to lift you up so much. Yeah, uh, and I mean, it hyped me up. I was front row seat to it. Um, I was right behind when he did it, and I just looked at their side and just got really hyped. So, and, and that travels around the whole team as well, too. How do you get to us there off the field? Because I ran on the field, so after you made that big hit. <laughs> The turnovers, both you guys had interesting. Like JJ, you had two, Ethan, you had one. I, you know, you need them at that stage of the game. You know, Youngstown's going to have to throw once you take the lead. Um, as a defensive back, how do you, you know that? How, how much do you kind of savor the opportunity to know that there might be some turnover opportunities for you coming based on the way the game is going? Um, for mine specifically, uh, it was a, a raw concept that they ran earlier in the game that I felt like I missed an opportunity on. So. When I seen it again, I knew where they were going. Um, but later in the game, especially, uh, they were just running similar route concepts, and we were able to communicate to each other, so like safety corner-wise, whether um, basically where to push our coverage and stuff based off where the quarterback was looking to throw. And coach just always says, just be aggressive. The ball's there. It's not there. It's going to be ours. So just being able to make them play on the ball to change the game. So it's all think when the ball goes in there. Because they're a great running team. So we knew as soon as we got up that they were going to play more into our hands and throwing us in. Credit the D line, the linebackers, and the safeties for stopping the run. And the offense giving us a lead, so we, they'll be predictable when they have to throw the ball. JJ, your second one was weird because he's trying to throw the ball out of bounds and he got too much air on it. Do you do? You don't get those very often where you can snag those ones where they're trying to throw it away. But how, you know, when, when you're seeing it, you're like, uh, you know, tell me what's going through your mind. It's like, I, got, I might have a shot at this one. When I was, when I saw like the pressure of DT and Drew uh, Brewery, a great pressure, and I see him chucking it, at first I'm thinking it's going out of bounds. But then the more I'm looking, I was like, oh, it's starting to get closer and closer. And then I feel myself tied on the sideline. So the first thing I was like, first catch it, and it was make sure my feet down. And then that's what happened. For both of you guys, you know, last week, you know, it was a tough game. Missouri State was able to, uh, uh, you know, put some yards up on you. And even though Youngstown did run the ball at times today, where do you guys put this defensive performance in the scope of the season? Because, uh, you know, I feel like, other than maybe a brief period of the third quarter, you guys, you know, were able to basically keep the game under control today. I'll put it up there because it was adversity up and down. They made a couple of plays. Definitely at the end of the half, they ended up getting a touchdown. And then start the half, they was moving the ball. And then we got that fourth down slot, they was moving the ball too. So I feel I put it up there because we was able to battle through adversity as a team, as a defensive unit. Just know that we we'll stay calm. The players are going to make it. We just got to take it one play at a time. That's what we did. Um, I'd say the same thing. It's up there um, to, piggyback, to piggyback off what he said. Um, I felt like we did a good job of um, basically uh, taking that adversity and, and not not uh, folding. Um, we bended a little bit, like you said. There were some runs that they hit, but um, we were able to to talk about it on the sideline before we went back out and make some adjustments, and that really helped us. How hard is that defensively? Because McLaughlin is okay. I mean, he's so quick, but his. But his style is, I mean, it really is an all or nothing style. Either he's going to break one for 30 or he's not going to get much at all. How hard is that to defend that? Because that's that's really a strange, you know, it almost seems like it would be harder to defend a guy who's grinding out five at a time. But, you know, obviously to be aware of that big play ability, how difficult is it to try to defend somebody like that? It's real difficult. The whole week was trying to just keep him ball up. He's a great back. I think we're probably the top two, top three leading rushers in the conference. So. Whole thing was just trying to keep him bottled up and knowing that just keep him bottled because we know he's a home run hitter and he's a great back. So all we was trying to teach was everybody had to be all 11, not just the D line linebackers, the corners on the outside. We got to give him the ball to save everybody. Had to, all 11 had to play to slow him down.
Yeah, then uh, we had a big focus this week at um, when we watched film, we were seeing other teams that would over pursue the ball, guessing where he was going to go, and we tried to go where, right where he was at, and that eliminated some of those cutback plays. Quick question. So, uh, congratulations on the victory, first and foremost. So, uh, with that, what does this victory mean to you guys and the team? Uh, that's huge, but just celebrate for 24 hours and it's on to the next one. Just, and it's confident you just can't celebrate after one win. we got a tough opponent in North Dakota State next week. So 24 hours, celebrate this now. We're back to work tomorrow, looking to get our game plan right and go to North Dakota and try to get it done. Excellent. Okay. And uh, so going into halftime, that was very interesting. Um, the Youngstown, they were able to score in the nick of time. Uh, it's kind of deflating for some, but what was it uh, about halftime and what was said in the locker room that got you guys to pretty much rise above all circumstances and come out victorious? What was it? Um, I would say it was the guys in the locker room that, um, that held everybody together because on that play specifically, I had a part in why they scored on that, and the guys just rallied around me and told me to make a play, and we were able to make several down the stretch. So the same thing, just we all just knowing that football going to have us up and down, so they made a great play. At the end of the half, we just know we, we get to see them after the half, and they got the ball, so we just knew they drove the ball down, we made a good goal line stand, make them kick the field goal, which I feel like that was huge in the game, too. Absolutely, and homecoming is such a great time of the year, so a win today is so significant. So, uh, with that being said, how do you feel like this will this win will uh, pretty much have a snowball effect uh, for the rest of the season? Do you feel like this win shifts the team's dynamic? Um, I feel like it could, but at the same time, we haven't had a, a win yet where it has snowballed like that. So we got to keep a mindset of we got to be focused on this next game and realize we got to handle our business. and It's not just going to happen. It's all about preparation and going back to the ground. We got to. We was able to win this game from Sunday. Go and watch film from Missouri State. Get that bad taste out of mouth. Get our game plan ready. So we're just going to do the same thing. Even after a win, it's still the same thing. We go in tomorrow because we weren't perfect out there. We got stuff to correct, and we got to get ready for North Dakota State. On to the next one. What do you feel like is something that you guys, I guess, could hone in on or sharpen before next week's game? I would say just keep battling through our adversity, staying together. I feel like that's what we did, offense and defense and special teams. We just stayed together this whole game because they made play. And football, you're going against another great team. It's a great conference. So they were just like we were. They're going to make plays. So us being able to stay together and knowing that when it's time for us to make a big time play, we're going to make that play. For you? And for me, um, I'd say. The things we can work on in practice this week is more just fundamental things because each week is going to be a new opponent, new game plan. Um, so that will change every week. But as far as how we prepare and, and uh, how we approach practice, if, if we uh, keep that at high intensity every day, then we should be okay. I guess my final remark would be uh, with the defense, it was, uh, it, was, it was so powerful in the fourth quarter. You guys accumulated uh, nearly half the interceptions in grand total just in the fourth quarter alone. What was it about the defense? Uh, that you felt uh, shifted the consciousness uh, and really forced all the turnovers. I was like, I said, I'll go back to that big fourth down stop, and then knowing when they got behind that they can't run the ball here, they keep running the ball, they're gonna chew up the clock. So we knew eventually they had to put the ball in there. We felt like them putting the ball in there favored us. So we just wanted to stop the run and get up, so they had to throw the ball, and that's when we was able to fly around and turn around. Absolutely. Yeah, knowing that, I felt like we were able to communicate to each other well and know what was coming, and that helped us get those turnovers. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, yeah, appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, Thompson. I'm Peterson Curry, the band here, and we'll have enough questions now. Guys, uh, both of you guys can address this. The defense gives you an opportunity after that fourth down stop. And you guys took it. You know, really, from that point on, it was it was uh, you know Indiana State's game. So tell me about that walking on the field after a defensive stop like that. You want to keep the momentum going. Um, tell me what's going through your guys' minds and, and how you were able to successfully uh, to accomplish that. Yeah, well, we had to play complimentary football. Our defense gave us an opportunity, and we knew that we had to go out and take advantage of it. Um, we had moved the ball in the first half, so going into the second half, we knew that we are going to be able to do it. We just had to put a drive together and get the first first down. So once we got that turnover, uh, we went out there with the mindset that we needed to get points. Yeah, just uh, with great turnovers, you know, you just got to come back and answer uh, to come back and respond because, you know, they're out there working hard and, and they expect the same from us. So uh, we're just doing our best to keep capitalizing off those, off those good plays the defense keeps making. Overall, I felt like today's game offensively is more where you guys want to be personality-wise as a team. You guys were able to run the ball successfully being a big part of it. Um, but the balance was also there. I mean, you guys can run play action today. You can throw the ball a little bit. Do you feel like this is as close as you guys have been to 
um, achieving the kind of identity of the offense that you want to be? Yeah, I think so. As far as, I mean, as execution, um, you know, it's, the game plan has been the game plan all year long, but I mean, as far as execution, I think we went out and executed it and allowed it to be a balanced offense and the identity that we want this year. Yeah, it's definitely what Anthony said. It's all about execution, you know. We've been doing, we've been doing the same things, and, you know, coming out with game plans. And it's just all about going out there and doing it. And as we do it in practice you know, throughout the week, we've got to come out here and do it on Saturday. So why do you guys think it worked this week? You know, I know that's always been the game plan, but what was the what clicked this week to make it work the way you wanted to? Just a great week of uh, preparation. Um, I mean, even uh, yesterday when we came out and kind of did our final run through of the game plan, it was our best one yet. Um, so I think as far as preparation out of everyone on the offense and the mentality of going in here and knowing what we wanted to be, I think that helped a lot. Yeah, staying together and, and coming out uh, responding after last week. You know, no, nobody's just gonna give up just because we only have these few games left and um, whatever playoffs might happen, you know, it's all about the next game and do whatever we can to go out there and beat that opponent. So it's all about keeping our heads up, staying focused, staying locked in, and, and going out there and doing, playing the game we love to play. Anthony, yeah, one big difference yeah, from a play calling point of view, though, was you were a design runner a little bit more this week. Tell me about that. We, you know, we've talked all year about your running ability. Today was, you know, really the first time we've seen it in, in terms of it being a, a you know specific play call for, for you to, to run it. Uh, tell me about the genesis of that, and obviously you were uh, successful in doing it. Yeah, it's kind of been something that we've talked about um, all year long. And as, as the game has gone on, uh, it's been something we talked about maybe putting in. Um, well, today at halftime, you know, they said hey, we're going to get them some more quarterback-driven runs. Um, and it's something that I've been prepared for all year. So I think that it, give, it helps us out on offense. It gets another uh, blocker in the run game. Um, and it, it, it puts another guy on a defensive player that, that we don't have to block. So um, I think that it does help, and I'm, I'm happy that we move it. Peterson, when you have somebody else who can run the ball, um, how does that help you? Because you know, I would think that's, that's a big help. I'd say it keeps the momentum out when I'm uh, now out there on the field, and, and it's a it's a big part of our room. You know, whenever your numbers call us, go in there and keep executing the same way that I would. You know, the expectation is the room, so um, I know I'm, I might be the head of it, but that's what we expect from all our guys uh, that run the ball. So I just just I want them to keep keep it up and keep doing what they're doing. For both you guys, offensive line wise, I thought that was maybe the most solid effort they've had all year. Um, Tell me about it from your guys' perspective, because uh, it seemed like uh, you know some of the issues that have occurred elsewhere in the season were, were not evident today. No, they played great today. Uh, I mean, obviously, you know, teams are going to blitz and they're going to add one. Uh, but as far as protections, when you know we were good in protection and we we shouldn't have <clears throat> many free rushers, they did a great job. I mean, anything that we call, I was able to sit back there and execute it. Uh, I mean, they really gave me all day. And as far as the run game, I mean, you can see it in terms of how many yards we average per run. Um, they did a great job moving bodies and, and opening up the holes for PD and the rest of the running backs. The satisfaction of, when you guys tell me, I mean, the satisfaction of walking off the field when you do the things you want to do um, and basically play the game plan you want to play it, you know, how, how good does that feel? That hasn't always been the case this season, but maybe today more than ever, like I said, I mean, it felt like that was the identity you guys want to have. Uh, how good does it walk off the field to kind of cement that a little bit? Yeah, that really isn't a better feeling just because every single week we, you know, we go out there and we work really hard to go out and achieve um, that. So to see the results is, is what we want and the productivity um, is what we want. It, it feels really good and it feels like, you know, that what we're doing is working. Um, it's, it's a sense of, you know, gratification. So we're excited. Yeah, all that, all that hard work that we all put in going out there and it just really paying off, you know, there's, there's really no better feeling, you know. You put a lot, you put a lot of effort, a lot of time into this and, and just knowing that it's paying off, it just it feels great. There's a lot of mobility on your end. So, uh, what about your mindset? Your mindset shifted uh, going into this contest. In terms of um, this mobility, being able to put your feet first and run and make plays. Just to be really, just be some decisive. Uh, you know, Coach Gasser preaches in the room is make decisive decisions. Uh, so, if I would drop back and I would feel it necessarily wasn't there. Um, I would use my feet to, to get a first down, to get a first down with my legs. Um, and as far as the quarterback driven stuff, um, just trusting the blocking scheme, trusting the running back going in there and opening up the hole for me. 
and then taking off from there. Absolutely. Do you think the, uh, I like that actually. Uh, do you think this, with that being said, do you think this transitions the offense to like, uh, it kind of redesigns it, uh, re innovates the offense moving forward? Do you think uh, traditional offense, things will be as they have been thus far, or do you feel like you'll start to establish a more run based, uh, run based offense? Yeah, I think if it's if it's there, um, you know, I mean, week by week, game by game, the game plan makes a little bit different. So I think if it's there, our coaches will definitely put us put put us in, put it in um, to put us in the best position to have a great run game. Okay, absolutely. And uh, with next week's game on the rise, do you think anything will change? Any change will be made off as far as the offense? As Not trying to uh, unconceal too many things. Yeah, as far as more quarterback run game. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's something. I mean, we'll have to take a look at. And if right. we just feel that it's best, then we'll put it in the game plan. Um, so really, I mean, it's going to come with watching the film. Do you still feel protected uh, having to run? Because you know most uh, quarterbacks traditionally sit in the pocket, uh, either have to throw the ball away, hand it off, do a shuffle, uh, shuttle pass. Uh, so how comfortable are you with being a mobile quarterback? Yeah, I'm extremely comfortable. I, I mean, coming from Northern Illinois, I, mean, I train uh, to run the football, so that's how I train here. So getting into the season of just keeping my body prepared to take hits and things like that. Absolutely. I guess my final thing would be it's a great win that you guys had with homecoming. It set the tone for the weekend and uh, everything. So what does this win mean to the team, and do you think it'll uh, like uh, have a snowball effect into next week's game going forward? It means a lot to us because, I mean, that's the goal every single week to come out with a win. So, I mean, for us to come out and, and really play a great team game and to come out with a team win is something awesome. You know, with all the alumni and the, and the fans coming back today for homecoming, we wanted to make them proud and, and come out with a win, so it means a lot to us. Absolutely. How about yourself? I just uh, ready that we could come out and uh, just execute. Uh, just, I don't really have much to say. That we just came out and did what we, what we needed to do and got the job done. Absolutely. You guys definitely did. Do uh, you guys anticipate a snowball effect next week on forward? Just thought I'd ask. It's yeah. always, yeah, it's always important to keep uh, keep the momentum going. And after this great win, you know, not to lay back and be like, all right, let's just start coasting because we, we won this game. Now you got to keep working harder, keep um, just keep keep improving. That's the big thing. Absolutely. Congratulations on the victory. You guys said you said you would win. You have done it. Uh, proud of you guys. Congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you. Absolutely. Yes, man. Awesome. All right.